good references on that renter. Oh yeah, when you get a renter in a property here, I have some, just some quickie slot. Dealing with tenants and turlets. Okay, can everybody see the screen? Is that your spelling or Archie Bunker? <laughs> That's my spelling. You can see the screen. That's all I want yes, to say. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Okay, yes. you get a tenant in a property. What's the beginning? What, what's the first thing you should do? You, first of all, do they have enough money to put down on the property? If you're doing a lease purchase, you want option consideration. Option consideration is non-refundable. Um, if you're dealing with a tenant, how much cash do you want down up front? 10%. Of a tenant? 10%. First and last month. First and last month. Uh, I think it's three and five percent. I can't hear as you. As much as you can get. Get first and last. Make sure the cash is there. Make sure, don't just take a check and give them the key, okay? Make Certify those funds or get a money order or get cash up front or even a credit card or a Venmo or a PayPal. Make sure the cash is in your hand before you let them have occupancy. What would happen if you let a tenant in a property in a state that's protecting uh, people from eviction? And they officially move. How long is it going to take you to get them out of a out of a property in these COVID times with government interference on eviction? So, uh, six months to a year. <laughs> it could it could take. There's some. There could be some. You're right, Jose. Could be some horror stories out there. Absolutely. So uh, make sure you get your cash. How about employment number two? There. Should we, should we confirm employment? How are they going to pay? How are they supposed to pay for the rent right. that you're receiving every month? Do you check? How do you confirm employment? Hey, Claude, couldn't you just put it through one of those uh, programs that where they would pay the fee to do the background check, check employment, all that good stuff? It seems like it's a very low fee that if they're really interested in wanting to, to, to get in with you to do business, they would you would get that information in that report to be able to back it up. What is the quality of the information from the person who's getting $13 an hour to, to check that information? Probably not very reliable. How important is, you're, you, you're a starting investor, you only have one or two rentals. How important mm -hmm. is it for you to know to a substantial certainty that that, I'm not saying you're wrong, Jose, uh, and yeah. if you tell me you have 25 apartments or something like that, absolutely, you've got to delegate. But you're a small yeah. big, you're a small guy with one or two, you're a small guy with one or two properties. What do you think you better do? You pick up the phone and you call the people. Call the reference. How do you know he's sure. his best? Call me up. How do you know he's not his best friend? Go ahead. Right. Hello, um, 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 this is John Smith. Uh, yeah, I, I would, uh, yeah. Uh, Hey, I'm calling to find out about Mr. Block here. Uh, how long has he lived there before in the past? He indicated that he worked, he lived there two, month, uh, two months. How, oh, how was on, he? Oh, wow, you're talking, wow, you're talking really fast with a lot. Who's Mr. Block? What are you talking about? Okay, he's a tenant that I'm about to put into my property and I want to verify. What's his first what name? Kind of history. What's his first name? Jim. Ken? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ken. Uh, uh, let me get my notes here. Um, yeah. Ken. Uh, uh, Ken, uh, Ken works. We were talking at the same time. Ken, uh, Ken works here. Oh, he works here. So I'm, I'm just trying to find out if he paid the rent on time. Oh, OK. I thought we were, we were talking about employment, Jose. You moved the goalposts here on me. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll switch to, okay, we'll switch to former tenant. Okay, yeah, same thing. Um, uh, yeah, um, he, always pay, um, he always paid on time, sure. Okay, can you send me some information that shows on paperwork, uh, his, his receipts, his payment receipts, um, and so forth? I'll, I'll, do, so I'll do my best. Hey, I'll do my best. Hey, look, I got to pick up the kids from, uh, uh, I got to pick up the kids here from uh, the, the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Palace. See you later, bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, what, what's going through your mind right now, whether it's an employment or it's an old landlord? 
that I can't validate it. What What do you think really? Slim Shady called the. That they're in cahoots and providing references are 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 not valid. Okay, how many people do you think get their best friend to take the phone call for them? Yeah. Right. Okay, be very, very, what is a business? Businesses sound like businesses, don't they usually? Right. Okay, you might wanna ask some questions. How long was he in there? Did they always pay on time? Do your own Do your own due diligence on this sort of stuff. Make sure you're getting a good tenant. How about seasoning? How long has that, if you're checking employment, okay, somebody do an employer, Horace, help me out here. Do it, you're checking the employment on Joe Blow before you put him into your valuable home. Hi, uh, is this um, Bill and Co? Um, yes, this yes. Yes, uh, I'm trying to get uh, some fee some uh, information on one of your uh, employees by the name of John Smith. Oh yeah, John Smith. Well, we're not allowed to uh, release that kind of information. Um, you'll have to send a letter to our attorney. I I don't need any detailed information. I just need to know. Um, by chance of the person worked there and how how long have they have they been working there um yeah, well he was he's been with us a while he was with us a while but uh um i and, uh, think i think he left i think he left uh oh wait let me check my files yes he left uh he left us six months ago oh, i could appreciate that um that's that's the type of information i need i appreciate you taking time out Bye -bye. of your day to give me this information. Take okay, care. so if you see a guy with an application and he's changed jobs like you change your socks, what does that tell you about the chances of not getting paid on time? Very high. Very, very high. And hey, Clark, can you can you take a step back on the, the guy who's the buddy with the shady, the, you know, script ready to, you know, give the answers and um, you need to dig further on, on that to determine that this guy's uh not not creditable can you go back a little bit on that go by your common sense if you if you're talking with somebody uh and they're uh looking you're hearing papers shuffled or they're not speaking fluidly uh, uh oh yeah 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 he told me somebody might call uh uh yeah yeah he was uh he's still working with us uh he's a great guy uh listen i gotta go what does that tell you? Okay, so now you're going to go back to the potential renter or buyer. Exactly. Should you? You're going to you're going to handle that in, in what way? Can you can you Google his company? Okay. Okay. Make sure. Hey, uh, Dave Skullnick, you you told me you were employed with um, uh, Blockbuster Video. Uh, they closed two years ago, three years ago. I'm still sweeping in the back room. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know, um, how are you going to pay? Um, I mean, this is $1,500 a month rent. How are you going to pay this rent? Well, I, I just got a new job at the video store down, down the street. Oh, okay. Another video store. You're, you're really on top of the times, aren't you, sir? <laughs> okay. Comment. Watch his red, red box. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing that should be in my outline here. Common sense. Use common sense in this. Okay. The worst thing you could do is put a tenant into the property. It's put somebody in the property and then have to deal with chasing them for rent. What's something else you can do if they, if maybe they're working, maybe they just started a new a job. Can you get a co-signer uh, mm -hmm. for them on the contract? Can you get somebody else to vouch for them and check that person out? That's a good thing. What's the speed. Now, when you get them in the property, what, what's this before you get them in the property? What's the speech that you should give every tenant before you give them the keys? Who knows my who knows the guts speech? Anybody here? Come on, one of my mentees, go ahead. Who's got it? From day one, uh, you get a warning. Day oh, two, you get oh, a phone call. Let me hear. Let me let me hear it. Role play it with me. Oh, Mr. Cyrus, I am my wife and kids and the ten chihuahuas. We're so excited about moving into your condo, man. It's beautiful. We'll take really good care of it. Awesome. I could appreciate that, Claude. Um, uh, but let's get down to the brass tacks. Uh, uh, I, what every month I expect. Uh, first of the month I expect the the payment. 
Uh, on the second, I'll give you a phone call to remind you that payment. And on the third, I'll be filing court papers to make sure um, that <laughs> if, if you don't produce that payment. Is that clear or? Okay. That was good. That was good. You hit on the high points there. Absolutely. You might even want to add something in the beginning. Say, hey, hey, Mr. Cyrus, I'm glad you and your family are moving in. And uh, can we go over some of the rules here first? Payments due on the first, late on the second. We're going to get along great if you can do three things. Payments due on the first, late on the second. You get a phone call on the third. We start an eviction on the fifth. Okay, you're responsible for minor maintenance, mow the lawn, take out the garbage, uh, keep the place looking nice. Uh, can, can you abide by that, sir? Yes. Okay, and uh, if something goes wrong, please take me seriously. Uh, we will start an eviction immediately. Boom, you know. Is this uncommon? That needs to be, that needs to be on an index card on everybody's yes. desk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How important is it to be upfront before you let a stranger in your property? Why not? You know, we're on that little honeymoon period. How fast should we, how fast should we tell, uh, should we tell them upfront? What are the rules? What's the line in the sand? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Right away. Don't, don't waste time. Give them the, the gut speech as quick as you can on that. Um, and uh, so if you can't, if you don't get, uh, should you set up guarantees to get paid up front? What kind of guarantees could we do to get, so that we get money? Come on, audience participation. What guarantee? Well, if you pay on time, we could probably, if it's uh, dealing with uh, rent to own, pay on time at the end of the, time before we close this, we could work on credit, rent credit? No, that's not what I'm talking about. How do you First get- First and last month's rent and security deposit. Right, how do you get paid on time? Can you get a credit card up front? Can you get credit cards and run them through? Can you use a pay, can you send them a pay, automatic, I use PayPal. Can you send an automatic invoice every month through PayPal or Venmo or something like that? What's the most important thing in business? If you're dealing with tenants, toilets, real estate, rent to own, lease purchase, what's the most important thing? Documentation. Patrick, you did that too fast. I'm sorry. Getting paid. Getting paid. Getting paid and getting paid timely. So take care of that up front. Okay? Ab absolutely. Uh, Just send reminders also. What's that? Like ahead of time. Send reminders also ahead of time. Okay. I love that. That's a great idea. You can, you if can you have. Up with the bank. Go ahead. You can set them up with the bank with an automatic withdrawal monthly directly from their paycheck to the to our banks. Great idea. Absolutely. Um, anything what company you use, Claude, to actually set up the automatic payment? I can't hear you, Jimmy. Say that again. What company, what company you use to set up the automatic payment? I use PayPal. It works great. If I have something that's due April 1st, they're gonna get a reminder March 25th that the rent is due, the credit card will be run. And through PayPal, they can either do a bank transfer, uh, they can put in their credit card, um, they can do several different things to make the, tra the um, automatic transfer of money. Okay. Um, that's the bottom line is take care of all this stuff up front. Uh, in there. If you get a tenant, worst thing in the world, you get a bad tenant. This is real negative for a Monday, isn't it? You get a bad tenant in a property. They're not paying you. You've tried everything. Phone calls. They've gone on the witness protection program. What's the next thing? What's the next thing you do? It's eviction court. Go letters. Or you can do cash for keys. Go knock on the door. Who said cash for keys? Oh, okay. Knock on the door. Very good. How about send a legal letter right away? I, what's the biggest mistake landlords make when the tenant calls them up? Oh, well, my grandmother needed new wagon wheels and uh, um, I'm going to get a, a tax return clawed on the 25th. I can't pay you on the first this month, uh, but I'll get a check on the 25th and I'll catch up. What do you say to that person, Avasio? 
what do you say to that person? Um, you, you remind you're, them? You're, you're a great guy. you're a great guy, man. Um, uh, but you know, but we're just having some. Uh, uh, my cat needs surgery. Okay, He's, um, so uh, we'll I'll have the rest of the money on the twenty fifth instead of the first. You're a great guy. I know you understand. Sorry, Claude, I don't understand. We had these agreements early on, you know, uh, and I and and you, up until now you've been, you know, you've been ethical, you've been on time, and I would assume that you can continue on if you really wanted. A am I am I wrong about that? Well, it's nothing I can do. I, uh, this cat needs surgery. Okay, uh, uh, he where he want, uh, uh, the cat. Uh, uh, my wife decided that we're going to change the cat from a male to a female uh, just to be trendy. <laughs> Making an official warning is that would that be your official warning then? And any time after that, then you have to take action. When should you take action, Herva? When should you take action? How soon? Immediately. Immediately. First thing you do is draft a letter. Draft us either send them a letter, a notice of intent to file an eviction. Okay, depending on your state, get them to it. Then file the eviction. Don't waste time. Go to your small claim online. You can go to small claims. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Some states are up to ten, twelve thousand uh, dollars limit. So if they um, usually that'll cover most rents and file that right away and send them a copy. First couple days, first week. Is am I a tough guy? Am I being unreasonable? No. What What happens when you're a nice guy or girl in real estate? And and you walked all over. The rent gets paid after the cat surgery. Yeah. If you're, if you're lucky. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you do your paperwork early. Notice of intent to file. File the civil. It caught. Co it'll cost you twenty five bucks, fifty bucks, depends on your jurisdiction. Okay. File that small claims real quick. Okay, so you can say you get to hold of the tenant, and um, they're not gonna and they're not gonna move out, and they're locked in, and you know this in your state, it's gonna take two, three, four months before you get them out. They're gonna make you go through the whole eviction. What do you do? What's the what's the uh, what's the guts move here? For them, cash for keys at that point. Cash for keys. Who said that, Hervasio? What's cash for keys? Go ahead, make me. I'm the bad tenant. I've been, uh, I've been in it one one month. It's the end of the month. I'm not going to move out. I'm going to drag this out for as long as the uh, uh, great Soviet socialist state of Cal of Southern California allow me to stay here. Come on, um, you know. Unfortunately, you're, you're forcing me to take uh, to to take proper steps in this case. You know, I. The next step would be for me to file an eviction. It's going to show up on your credit. I don't care. You I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to stay in here. You didn't fix the refrigerator light bulb. And that gives me good reason to stay here. And I can stay here for months. I already talked to my attorney and state. And they in this, and in this particular state, there's no evictions right now. So tough. So tough to you. I don't care. You, you may be right about that, Claude, and, and I'm sure you have all right to feel that way. I apologize for the light in the refrigerator. You know, um, Claude, do you think that we could come to some sort of resolution? Um, moving out of my place is what I'm, you know, for you to move out of my place is what I'm looking for, and I'm sure you're going to be needing some funds to get into a new location. Is there any way I can help you with that? Maybe we can come to an agreement here. I don't want to have bad, bad blood with you. I don't want your future landlords calling me and me having to tell them about you know our experience does this make sense can i can i help you some sort of way could we come to some agreement what are you talking about here you you want to give me some money um well that means since you bring that up claude do you do you think suppose i did give you some money would you be able to get out in a timely fashion leave a place in livable condition the way you found it don't worry about the light in the refrigerator. I will take care of that. Well, how much? How much? How much here? You're just a rich. Um, how much? I want to. Uh, you. So you're saying uh, if I'm, I, I'm not sure if I understand. You're going to give me money if I move out of this property. 
Um, I, I can agree to that. If you if you can meet me somewhere in the middle, we can agree to something. I'm 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 open to that suggestion, Claude. Good suggestion. I'm open to it. Yes. Okay. Someone take over. Someone take over for Havasio here. Someone keep negotiating. Who's gonna? Somebody new. Here. But somebody new. Who? Where's my new? Where's my new guys here? Hello. Nobody else wants to, Claude. Nobody wants to. Okay. Rob Oakley, jump in here. New guy, Rob Oakley. All right, where are we at? Negotiating. Got to pay attention. Look, bud. Okay, you need to kick, right. you need to get me out of the property, Rob. Okay. What seems reasonable to you? Um I don't know. Um I don't know. I want a uh, $10,000. I can't do that. $10,000. I can't do that. Well, this property um, this property's worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You're a rich landlord, Oakley. I want some. If I'm going to move out of this place, I want some cash now. Cash now? I can do cash now. Um, what about your deposit back? How do you feel about that? I want that back too, on top of the ten thousand. That's another what? Two thousand. How am I supposed to give you ten thousand when you're living in my only property? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just stay here for a year for free. And there's oh, nothing you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Can I? Hey, off the role play. Do I play a good son of a bitch or what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Am I playing the best son of a bitch? Alan, step in. Yeah. Come on. You got, I want you guys to use guts. OK, stroke, nurture, imagine. I understand your situation. What can we do? I want to hear some negotiation strategies here. Alan, why don't you give it a sure. shot? So I've got about five hundred dollars here. Five Patrick, Patrick, I asked, I said Alan, hold on a sec. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You'll go next. I'll let you go next. Patrick, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. But uh Claude, you seem like a sharp dude. You seem like you're uh up in the times with the headlines and the news. I certainly see that you have uh you're using what the government is giving you and you're a sharp person. And you know what? I just want to let you know that this is temporary and at some point we all have to go back to normal and I'm sure that you're going to want to have to go back to normal as well or probably not. I don't care. All I listen, you talk about money. Uh, listen, listen, you're a good guy. Uh, if you want to pay me some cash to leave early, I could use some money. I want to visit my grandmother in Florida anyway. Lovely, lovely. Uh, suppose I suppose I give you back your security deposit and I get you a round trip flight to your grandmother. Uh, is that something that we can move forward today? So two thousand and a ticket uh, to Florida. Yes, today. Well, otherwise, if you can't if you can't make a decision, I'd rather spend that money on my lawyer and get you get you out the hard way. How would you like to move forward? No, 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 no. You, you remember, you're you're. You got government interference. He, you can't kick him out. There's a pandemic and there's a, how many people here, show of hands here, how many people here in your particular state have restrictions on evictions and foreclosures right now? Raise your hands, show me. Look at all the, look at all those hands up there. Florida, how about it, John? Florida is a tough state or what? No? Okay, we got a lot of states out there. I know there's my California people here. Okay, so. You can get tough with him, but what 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 emotional button do you want to hit? You were doing really well, by the way. The trip to Florida. I'll tell you what. Going to throw in going to throw in some tickets to Disney uh, Disney World or something like that. You got? Did you get start to get me interested? You had me close, but then you got nasty. You start to threaten me again. Oh, do you think you have to use honey? Use yeah. honey. All right. Lesson learned. 